Hi lovelies and welcome to the first ever Pretty Perfect Products YouTube. As this is the first video, uh, we were sitting there thinking, oh, what, what should we do? A question that I always, I said to Bobby that I always get asked is like, what's in my cupboards, like where I get bits from, like how I can, you can stay organized in your kitchen. So I thought that that would be a good place to start. I was thinking about giving her like a kitchen tour today, talk about the budget pantry, how I created that, what's inside these cupboards, and then where you can get like containers, etc., for yourself in your, in your space. So this is how I organise mine, so it might be a little bit over the top for some people. Um, I do love a container, so it's just for some sort of inspiration. Um, you can have a sort of see what would work and what wouldn't work in your own kitchen and your space. So always wanted a pantry, couldn't extend couldn't ma do the matching in the cupboards because it was too expensive so I made a budget Ikea one and it's literally the best thing I've ever made like look at this <laughs> this pantry um, you might have seen it on social media it did go viral and I do get lots and lots of questions on the cupboards itself so before I start actually inside um, the cupboards are tall, metard, um, high cabinets. If you type in high cabinets into IKEA, loads will go up, come up. Um, and you've got like different depths. So mine are 40 centimeters, just because I like to be able to see everything. My mother-in-law's got, um, she actually copied me, um, she's got the 60 centimetre ones, which is a little bit deeper because she stores her boxes in there. Um, but yes, they come in two um, different depths. The doors you can get in loads of different styles. Obviously we went for these ones because they tie in with the kitchen, but they come in all different um, colors. And then you can choose the handles. Again, these ones were one, the cheapest, and two, they actually fitted in with the kitchen. So that's why we went with them. So they're the cupboards and that, they're really, really cheap. I think they worked out like 138 pounds for the double. The only other thing that you're gonna need with them is at the bottom of the cupboards, um, there's legs and they're called capita, I think. And again, I'll put the link in. Again, really, really cheap. And then you'll need some plinth if you don't wanna see underneath the cupboards. So again, the plinth is on Ikea. I'll link everything in um, the comments. So that's actually the cupboards itself. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm actually really excited to show you this because um, I've actually made some changes recently. Um, is I'm gonna talk you through them. Oh, one more thing. Um, if you've been following me from the start, you'll know this. I didn't do all of this at once. So I know this looks quite overwhelming. It wasn't like I went out to Ikea and literally bought all of this. It, I, I built it up. So the very first thing I did was I just went out and I bought two cupboards and then I, I organized those. And then a couple months later, I added a cupboard. And then I thought, oh, I've got this space here behind the door and I just carried it on. Um, so yeah, I didn't do it all at once. And yeah, I'll show you the first one. So first cupboard, we've got like all spices, um, like sachets, seasonings, sauces, um, and then like all of the stuff that you'd have like in your cupboards, so like tins and things like that. Doing this has just been a game changer for us because before we would have in our cupboards, we would have like tins right at the back of the cupboard where we couldn't see. And then I'd go and do a food shop and then I'd end up buying the same thing. With like containers wise, the places I get them from are Plastic Box Shop, Ikea, and a company called Roof. And literally when you go onto that website, it's just, it's amazing. Like there's so many like organization bits lots of different gems in there. These ones up the top here, I store all of like my milkshakes. So Adam and Sienna love a chocolate milkshake. Um, so I've got those. We've got like bits for baking, like caster sugar, etc. These are from Ikea. So these are like airtight lids. Um, I've tried different ones over the years from like Asda and places like that. Like these are the best by far. Um, they come in two sizes, and I'll show you the large ones in a second. Um, I think the small ones are £2.50 and the large ones are £3.50. Going on to the here, this is the company Roof that I got these from. So these actually are spice racks and they, they actually pull out 
and M, they're expandable. These jars as well, they're also from Rove. Um, I think I got like 12 for like six pound. Um, the, all the labels are from my own um, shop, Pretty Perfect Products. These spice labels are also from um, Pretty Perfect Products as well, so I've just popped those on. Um, so I've obviously got 35, because I just love my spices, um, and they're all organized on those. People do get angry with me, because like, they're not in alphabetical order, but I do it in like what I use the most, because I don't know, that just makes sense to me. Sauces, I've very recently changed to um, storing them in Lazy Susans, um, and this has just been amazing. So you can just fit so much more on. These are like oil uh, bottles. They're from a company called Ring It. Again, I'm gonna put all the links in the comments. Labels again from Pretty Perfect Products. These are from Plastic Box Shop. These come in um, three different sizes. So these are the narrow ones and I've, I absolutely love them because you can fit so much um, in them. All my jars, rices um, and tins. And then lastly, we've, um, I've got Zach, one of my friends, to pop this on. Um, just again, trying to make use of space. So I have this space here um, and I, I, I like to be able to see everything and not to be cluttered. So. I've got like, these are like my go-to. So like paprika, mixed herbs, oregano, like they're what I sort of use with like every meal. So they're out on the side, ready to go. And they literally shut perfectly. Okay, next cupboard, um, we've got ta -da, this one. We've got first aid up the top. These containers are from b and um, They're like little stacker ones and they're really reasonable. I think they were like £2.50. Smaller ones were £1.50. I think I've still got the label. Oh, actually, I've still, look. £1.50 Home Essentials. These are, again, from the Pretty Perfect range. So I've just separated them so it's just easy to see everything. I've got like sun creams, creams, allergies and for me, when someone comes around my house and says, oh, have you got a plaster, have you got this? I know where everything is and that, that just makes me so happy. Um, then we've got um, like all that dry food. So we've got all the cereals. You can tell we love cereals in this household. These containers are the ones I was telling you about from Ikea. These ones are £3.50. Another Lazy Susan for like the breakfast jars. So yeah, all of these are from Ikea. This is how we store Sienna snacks. At the moment, we've got all of our snacks in this Lazy Susan. We've got like nuts and stuff here. And these drawers are actually from B&Q. And they literally just pull out. We just store all of our naughty bits in there. And then Chris at the bottom. These are from Ikea as well. You can tell I love Ikea. So those two cupboards were like food and pantry bits. Um, this um, I put in after because I had the space and I also had um, things like paperwork and stuff to organise. So in these cupboards, um, we've got one that's designated just for cleaning and then we've got one designated for like miscellaneous. But I don't know if you can see, these actually were single cupboards um, that we've put together and then I put the doors on the outside. So you know like here, these double ones, they don't have the middle bit in between. So if you don't have the room and you just wanna put one in, you could just buy a single instead of a double. So all cleaning products in here, baskets are from Ikea, but I got ripped off. Um, places like B&M, Matalan, places like that are doing them for like four pound. I pay 10 pound. I personally just like them because when I'm going to like clean the bathroom upstairs, for instance, they've got a handle, so I just like go upstairs with it um, and I've just got everything in the basket and then I can just put it back. So that's why they're all in like room um, order. So that's cleaning. And then in here, it's just, as I was saying, I just like to know where everything is. If someone said to me, oh, I've got someone's birthday coming up, open the cards. Is it a girl? Is it a thank you card? I've got, I've literally got a space for everything. So that's how, I mean, I, I am over the top, I know, but I love it. Um, again, just miscellaneous, things like batteries, doorbell, like ring doorbell, cables and things like that. 
this actually this box was a you know like um i think you type in like photo storage box into amazon and it's like a six by four you actually store photos in here but i thought it'd be perfect to organize the tables uh, sandwich bags and like vacuum parts but yeah just everything has a place and then lastly this actually was supposed to have a door um but we've never got around to putting one on and now i kind of like it i love keeping keepsakes so i've got all keepsakes special cards mementos in here um, and then all sienna's craft stuff down the bottom for when we do crafting when I finished and I had this cupboard here, I had this tiniest little space at the bottom. I needed somewhere to like store all of like um, my glass containers because where we're doing like meal prep monthly, um, we've been using glass containers. So I got a CD rack holder from Ikea and I've stored all of our glass containers up the side in this little gap. But again, when you shut the door, no one really can see them so they're just like it's just like a good space like a little hidden gem also completely forgot boxes at the top are my backstop so when backstop shall i say um when i buy my stuff in bulk if i top up my containers um say i uh, do my cornflakes and have a little bit left over in the bag i'll then pop it up there so when i run out i'll then just top it up um, you might just see these videos on TikTok and you might not, you might think, oh, like that's, they've filled it up perfectly. That doesn't happen every single time. The nine times out of 10, they'll have a place where they'll put things and that's where I put mine. These boxes are from Dun Elm. Um, they're literally washing baskets. Um, but yeah, they just fit perfectly on top and I store everything up there. So that's the budget pantry. Um, another question I get asked is like, well, if that all the food's in there like what's in your actual cupboards so i'm going to talk you through the rest of the kitchen now moving this way this is just basically where i store all of like my books so my recipes like all my meal planning where we bulk cook cleaning schedules etc this is our little family schedule. So this Adam, what's for dinner? Everything's up there. Um, what's going on? This has been a godsend in the six weeks holidays. Everyone knows what's going on. Jobs to do, husband jobs to do at the weekends. Sienna's little star chart and like routines and yeah, rule chart, just getting her ready for preschool. So that's like family schedule stuff. And then we go into the kitchen. So this is the fridge and the freezer. And I say the fridge, it's one of the fridges, because in lockdown I introduced another one. So this fridge, I call it like the daily fridge. This is like, we've got boxes Monday to um, Sunday, and I put in like our lunches and meals. So these I've already cooked, they've been frozen, and I've got them out of the freezer ready to defrost. So we've got um, tacos tonight, Taco Tuesday, lasagna on Wednesday. This is our leftovers, but I will talk you through that in a second. Sauces, milks, etc. Freezer, all organized in there. And then this is the other fridge. In lockdown, where we started um, bulk cooking monthly, that fridge just wasn't big enough. We bought this one, it was like 200 pound, best investment we've ever made and we just store all of our other bits in there so all of our drinks sienna snacks like salad and yeah so daily fridge and then our fridge here containers are actually all from um b m plastic box ones that i showed you earlier these ones are just pull out drawers you can get from amazon how i store my salad loads of questions on here i on a sunday i'll just wash these chop them up, put them in jars. It just stays fresh a lot longer, five to seven days. And yeah, that's the fridge. Finally, the actual kitchen. So what's in here is just basically things that we need to cook. So just boring stuff really. So it's like garden stuff, like barbecue bins and bits and bobs there. Up here is just casserole dishes and stuff, baking bits down here. Sienna's like, storage for like her storage containers the labels are from my website like all the others oh, i'll show you 
They come in like white or black, they're clear, and you just peel them off and then stick them on. And they're really simple. And then if you want to change your container and stuff, you can just peel it back off and they're like reusable. Up here is Bruno's cupboard, food and like grooming stuff. This is just like, like utensils, is it you? Utensils, that is the right word, isn't it? Utensils. Utensils? Yeah. Yeah. This is actually overflowing. So I actually have got to sort this out at some point. And this is what I always say to people, like my, not every single thing in my house is immaculate at all times. There's, it's, you've got to maintain. At the moment, I'm going through this craze of like seeing stuff on TikTok and having to buy it. I bought a vegetable chopper the other day. Like I just, you buy stuff, don't you? And if you don't then get rid of stuff, just more stuff then comes in your cupboard. And if you don't do anything, it's obviously gonna look like this. So I am actually gonna have to sort that out. Pots and pans in this drawer, lunch boxes. This one stresses me out because of this. Adam has to have the biggest cup of tea in the morning and the Sports Direct mug really offends me. I've tried to like get rid of it a couple of times, but it just keeps reappearing in there. And then finally, plates. It's pretty boring pretty boring stuff but yeah that is what is in my cupboards so hopefully i've answered some questions um if i've forgotten anything please just leave it in the comment section this was my first video with a camera like pointing directly at me um so i was a little bit nervous so bear with me i will get better um but yeah so any questions leave it in the comments I'm planning on working with Bobby and bringing out two YouTube a month. So it could be like days in the life or meal planning, anything you want to see. Um, just again, leave in the comment section. So as I said, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, we'll be bringing out lots more content soon. Thanks for watching.